It's time now for Sunday House Call, and with us, as he is always on Sundays, good morning, good Sunday morning. House Call host, Dr. Isidore Rosenfeld, the Rossi Distinguished Professor of Clinical Medicine at the Wild Cornell Medical Center, recipient of the United Nations Citizen of the World Award, and the best person to ask some of these great questions that we have today. Some of them are from you. Pine bark relieves your pain if you have it in the knee. Who knew? You know, <clears throat> Pine bark is uh, marketed as pycnogenol. If you go to your health food store, you see pycnogenol. I think it's a it's a great thing. I take I take it myself every morning. Um, it contains bioflavonoids. It contains a lot of anti-inflammatory properties, and the most recent uh, most recent research shows that. Um, about 100 milligrams, 50 milligrams twice a day of pycnogenol, pine bark, relieves uh, arthritis. And after you stop taking it, the relief lasts for, you know, several weeks. Um, that's very interesting. It's especially apparently effective for arthritis of the knee. But I have read reports in the last few months which indicate that pycnogenol may also be good for cognitive impairment, for people who think they're losing their memory. Uh, uh, it's also uh, uh, said to be very good. There's some reports I read that it may help uh, menopausal symptoms. So I think that if you've got arthritis and who doesn't, and you're worried about your memory, and especially if you're a postmenopausal woman without flashes or flushes, uh, try some pycnogenol. There's no downside to it. I don't know of any side effects, and I take about 100 or 150 milligrams a day. Doc, any plus for heart disease? Because we know the arteries clogging, anti-inflammatories can be helpful there, like an aspirin. Could this help too? Uh, there ha it, theoretically it could, but there hasn't been any, I haven't seen any studies. There. I only want to report things that, not that I sure. think, but that have been, you know, documented in studies. And the research has indicated that there is benefit in arthritis, in uh, menopausal symptoms, and in cognitive impairment. Thank you. Okay.